I'm just going day by day. Adrena Foster and her family are still trying to make sense of the loss. Foster's youngest son, 17-year-old Liardis Day III, had gotten off his school bus last Thursday when he collapsed feet from his front door. Somebody knocked on the door. I thought it was him, but it wasn't him. The, the uh, little girl said, somebody that lived here passed out. While he waited on paramedics, his older brother did what he could. I was just saying, like, bro, it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Come on, bro. We're going to be we gonna be okay. And he really ain't budge. The family says Liardis died a short time later. And I, you know, I believe that he didn't feel anything. I just believe that it just happened. A drop of this out of nowhere. He was laying in a parking spot, like in the street in a parking spot. Like he didn't even get to make it on the, on the sidewalk. Day split his time between classes at Independence High School and at Fort Hayes Career Center, where he studied his true passion, music engineering. He was just brilliant, kind of quiet, laid back, but when he sat down with his music, he, he was a young genius. At Independence, a memorial of cards and pictures of Day, who is nicknamed Nooner, continues to grow. Why such a good person? You know, um, we never question God, but it's just, you know, it's just hard for us to relate to it all. His mom says Day collapsed in class at Fort Hayes two months ago, but recovered. Now she's waiting on autopsy results to see what took his life away. It's killing me in the inside that I won't see my son no more. Day and his brother were planning a career in music together. It's a dream he says will live on. I can't stop. I gotta keep moving. I gotta, I gotta get it for him. And I, I, I have a reason. And I know God is going to take good care of him. Wait, oh, on the shortest one there on the left.